Hi viewers, welcome to Lama Solution. Today we are going to see about how to use state flow or chart in Zoomlin. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So I am going to open the MATLAB. So here you can click Simlink and then click Blanc model. After that, just click this library browser and then go to state flow. So here you can see that show the chat. Okay, so here I'm going to generate the square wave so based upon sinusoidal input. So I'm going to provide sine wave as so input here, and I'm going to make the frequency of sine wave equal to one. Now I am going to use scope So here you can see that the data is nothing but input and data is nothing but output and I am going to measure that means I am going to combine the input and output here Okay. Next, I am going to go to configuration and then I am changing this value to only for minus 5. And here I am going to take settings that means forward step equal to 2 lakhs. And then I am going to click inside this chart. So, here I am going to create the condition. So, this condition is upper condition when the sinusoidal waveform is greater than. Uh, upper limit then it will be maintained at some value right that means is greater than 0.5 then output equal to 0.5 if less than minus 0.5 the output equal to minus 0.5 okay so i am going to consider so data 1 which is equal to 0 0.5 so this is a entry okay i am going to copy the same block so this is used for lower condition so i'm going to change low here and then output equal to minus 0.5 now i'm going to create the condition and data so data is less than minus 0 0.5 so the data means input data the sinusoidal data is less than 0 point minus 0 0.5 the output equal to minus 0 0.5 now another condition changing from this state to this that means lower state to upper state. So here I am going to create that condition data is greater than 0 0.5, then output equal, output equal to 0 0.5. Okay. So based upon this condition, we will get the square wave with amplitude in between 0.5 to minus 0.5. So next I am going to change the style of the scope. And then I am going to simulate. Now you can see that when an amplitude of input sine wave is greater than 0.5, so it is going to be maintained at 0.5. When amplitude of sine wave is less than minus 0.5, it is going to be made at minus 0.5. So we are getting the square wave. So based upon the condition, okay. So this is the working of state flow or chart in MATLAB assembly. Okay. Just you have to create this model and then create the state flow inside the chart. Okay. So thanks, thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.